Hi guys, Bran here today with a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be talking about the kind of the contentious map of Shelter Woods. Now, Shelter Woods is kind of known as kind of the weakest survivor map in the game and has infamously been so for a really, really long time. And even killers don't really like playing on it too particularly much because it's it's huge. So even though that a lot of killers like Blight and Nurse and Oni and that sort of thing, they can get around pretty well. And one killers also struggle on this map because it's like, it's really huge. Like, let, let, let's put this in perspective. <laughs> Starting off a little early. Let's put this in perspective. Uh, the Shelter Woods is 176 square tiles. Mother's Dwelling, which is infamously known as the biggest map in the game, is 188. So it's only 12 tiles behind it, the, the, the biggest map in the game. Mother Mother's Dwelling is 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 a nightmare on its own because of its size. And Shelter Woods is pretty close. So let's 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 I be that very, very quickly. So if you're an M1 killer and you don't have like a really, really good movement option, like you're 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 it, it's the pits to get this map. So survivors aren't happy with it. Killers typically aren't happy with it unless unless they're playing like a, a character with high movement. So how do we fix this map? How do we even make this map happy for everybody? How do we make it good? Let's let's go ahead and talk about it. So first, of course. Let's, I feel like there's a lot more problems going on on the survivor side than the killer side. So let's go ahead and address that really quickly. For the killer side, make the map a little smaller. There's literally, there's literally nothing in the map anyways, <laughs> which we will, we will address here soon. But like, just make the map a little smaller. Like, like this game of Dead by Daylight works the best when the two sides are interacting a lot. That, that's just how it goes. The, this, this game works the best when the two sides are interacting a lot. So if a map is too huge, and there's not a lot in it on top of it, which is how Shelter Woods is. There's a lot of like non-interactivity between the players. There's a lot of players going left and right and not like actually even like they'll, they'll see each other because there's nothing on the map. But like there's not a whole lot of interactivity going on there. So you want to uh, like up that interactivity. So let's let's shrink the map a little bit. You don't have to do it a lot. It can still be one of the bigger maps in the game, but you, you don't want it rivaling Mother's Dwelling. <laughs> you really don't. So let's let's shorten it a little bit. Let's let's bring it down like another like 12 tiles, for example. All right. So now we're going to break down probably the bigger gripe with this map, which is like survivors going to this map, because uh, it is the it is the probably the weakest survivor map in the game. And a lot of people kind of like step over that because most maps in the game, I would say a mass majority of them are strong survivor sided maps like Garden of Joy, Fractured Cow Shed, Haddon Field like there's there's a lot of really strong survivor side maps in this game. The game, Ormond, like most map, Batum, all five of them. Yeah, like most maps in the game are extremely survivor sided. So it's like people kind of just don't want to like look at this. You know, they're like, oh, well, you have to deal with one bad map for your for your, for your role, like whatever, dude. But like, I think outliers, especially in a game like this, that it can be so chaotic are good to curb. You don't want to have like crazy outliers like curbing in those and making them a little bit more in line with each other it is a good thing now those maps need to be addressed those those maps need to be weakened but shelter woods also needs to be brought up a little bit so how would we do that so shelter woods i think needs a main building you can put like a nice little tree house up there or something like that and the big thing with putting a main building there is this is something that has disgusted me <laughs> about about new uh, uh, um, main building design for behavior in like the last slew of maps that they've made is they don't make the main buildings fun for either side. They just make them like they just give you a bunch of God windows and, and then like one God palette. And then they just said, OK, cool, that's it. We're good. And that's like. I don't know about that because like on killer obviously it's incredibly frustrating especially if you're playing a killer that doesn't have a whole lot of anti-chase if there's a bunch of god windows and like a god palette you just gotta eat that you just gotta you gotta hold that l and there's nothing you can do about it it's really stupid but on the survivor side it's not like fun either because like you just there's nothing exhilarating or exciting about dropping a god palette or like vaulting a god window like that you didn't really input anything that wasn't like those things are kind of just objectively good and your input is very little. So it's like not it's not it's not like for killers, it's frustrating and for survivors, it's not stimulating. So uh, just make it like a nice like B plus level, like little tree house or something. Give them something to use balanced off of because you used to be able to do that on shelter and they took that away. Like, like, give you know, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this because I freaking hate this this concept. But maybe give it a good window, but give it a breakable wall. So if you kick it, it's fine. And then give it like one medium strength palette. And that's it. Just something in the center of the map for people to go to so they can do something. Maybe get some perks off like balance. That way it's not just like big empty in the center of that map. 
because all right now all there is there right now is just like this tiny little tree <laughs> it has nothing going on sometimes it has a fire barrel or a hook next to it but there's, it's a it is a d -d 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 dead zone big old dead zone so that would help that also because this map we're shrinking the map size but even in general the map doesn't really have a lot of like impressive features i would say and when you have a map that's like as like long and kind of like barren as shelter woods it it, it kind of like it, it, just, it creates this effect of like almost like new hadfield you know how new hadfield like you'll be in one of the houses and you'll be looping really well but if you if for some reason you ever need to go to the street it's just suddenly like it's like no man's land like there's nothing out there like sometimes you'll get like a palace spawn in the middle of the street but there's nothing so like even though the map is like good like those, those den zones are really painful you can have a map be like bigger like we said it, shelter woods is still going to be a like a larger map but it's not going to be like close to mother's dwelling even in our version what you got to do is just put in just put in more path pallets like like there's a lot of killers and i would say like over half the killer roster if not more at this point have powers that really benefit catching survivors out in the open but on shelter woods it's just like too easy to catch people out in the open so you just you just end up like stuck against something that you really can't do anything about and it, and it feels really lame so even bad pallets are better than no pallets even bad pallets are better than no pallets i'd put a lot of i would put a lot more in terms of path pallets so even though the tiles are super spaced out on shelter woods like they are now you would have path pallets to use in between them to get from resource to resource uh and this does happen sometimes on shelter woods but you have to get lucky right like it, it this does happen we just need to make it like more consistent and make it to where like there there's like it's okay to have dead zone right like i'm not saying like dead zones are inherently bad we need to just remove dead zones period because like if every map had no dead zones every map would just be super super strong like say garden of joy is um i think i think that's one of the strongest things about garden of joy now that i'm thinking about it is that it's uh there's a, you almost seemingly always have a resource anywhere you go which is very strong but um yeah, just having a little bit more connectivity between the paths that you take while you're looping would make the pain a lot less, even if it's just some crappy path pile or uh, path pile. <laughs> even if it's just some crappy uh, path pile to get to your LT wall, like that, that's better than just having like nothing and making that happen more consistently instead of just every once in a while. I uh, I think would do a lot of help with the map. So yeah, that's what I think. That's what I would do to fix Shelter Woods. Do you think Shelter Woods is a problem? And how would you fix it? Let me know down in the comments below. But then that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And that I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.